Hi friends, we're back. Sorry we had some phone calls and stuff to deal with, so yeah. Hey. So we got some we got some accents. Man, this is sure cool. We're we're on Scott, Mr. Scott Ganyon, and I'm running your tripod right now, buddy. Thank you. I'm running it. It's great. These freaking drill bits, I can't thank you enough, buddy. That wasn't cheap. You can't tell me that was inexpensive, buddy. Thank you so much. That's a wonderful gift for the for the freaking channel. I'm just I mean, come on. Thank you. Wow. So this has been lovely. This has been very nice. Now we're not done with Mr. Ganyan yet. No, no, it's a big box of things. Victor, what else has he got here? He's got something else here. He's got a couple other things here. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a green shirt. I love green. I got a t-shirt. What does this say? Scott's Remodeling Gilmanton, New yeah, Hampshire. Sure. Scott, this is killer. Okay, Scott, so you, you know all about this stuff, don't you, Scott? I know you do. I can tell. Gildan. Hey, that's actually a nice shirt. It is a nice shirt. Extra large. Buddy, you nailed it. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm going to wear that. I love green. These are these are actually nice, nice shirts. That's, that's bucking green right there. So it's, it is, isn't it? It's bucking green. Hey, Doug, we we use Gildan too, Doug, and this is um, this is Gildan Dry Blend. Jenny, are you watching? Jenny, Jenny, my dear, Jenny Smith, Jenny Bobeni, this is really nice stuff. Doug, look at this. Look at Gildan Dry Blend. It's a really nice shirt, Douglas. I think it's if I'm not mistaken. Yep. It's got some, what did Victor, what does that say? Oh. You got glasses on your head bucket. It's, it's, it's 58% cotton, polyester, cotton and poly. Cotton and polyester, a little blend, which is nice because you get a little bit of shrinkage. You hardly get shrinkage with that. I'm just gonna see if there's a better, um, there probably isn't another tag. I wanna throw this shirt on right now. I love it, thank you, Scott. What a great shirt. What a great shirt, friends. New Hampshire, so if you're in New Hampshire and you need some remodeling and some renovation work, call Scott. Scott, I'm taking a shot in the dark. I've never seen your work, buddy. <laughs> So just so everybody knows that, I'm sure he's a great guy. He's giving the channel stuff and helping the channel out. Scott's remodeling. Gilmington, Gilmington. Scott, thanks very much, pal. Now we're not done, friends. We're not oh, done. Gosh, no. We're not done. There's something else that Scott has got here. And it looks to me, oh dear oh, Lord. There you go. A little Dremel. N this, you can't, this, you, this is a different package, isn't it? Buddy, what? It's air. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me, Scott. This is crazy. Friends. So there's a chuck. Yep. Yeah. For for bits and stuff. Yeah. That that's probably a so so that's I, a small a small mandrel. Oh, and then you got a bigger mandrel. Or that's a replacement mandrel. It's probably a replacement. Yep. It is, it's a replacement. Yep. Friends. Scott. Oh my god. So that loosens up and you stick your bit in there, right? Yeah. And then you tighten it. And so, oh, so maybe it's for the drill bits. No. No. It's a die grinder. It's a die grinder. Yeah. Or get you a couple. What kind I've of bits got, go in it? I've got a bunch for you. Do you? For getting your eyes. Yes. 
a burring tool, and you can rip steel out with it, like no tomorrow. Steel? Oh yeah. So I bring my little compressor around my compressor. Yeah, or that bigger blue one out there <clears throat> that you have from my place. That's yours. That is mine, and I never use it, so it might as well stay at the bunker bunker, I think. Did you just hear what Victor said? Because I've got, I was just looking at, this is crazy. Until we find you one that yeah. will replace it, mm -hmm. because you need a bigger air compressor. I do, yeah. I've got this little teeny blue one. Hogan blows his tire up with it every morning, and I tell him, get the freaking tire fixed. Ha <laughs> ha! And you need one bigger than what I have. Yes. Bigger than this one. Yes. I do, don't I? Yes, I will find Out, you outside or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a stand-up one that just will go up under the overhang and run your air in here, and away you go. Scott. I mean, I don't even, I, I don't know what to say, bud. I, I, that, that's no whistling Dixie, friends. I mean, come on. What's this for, the back? It's your air chuck. It's just a little plug. Oh, and you just twink. Yeah. You, well, you, you gotta, gotta buy the, a you gotta, Yeah, you gotta put the fitting on. Yeah. Scotty. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Friends. Listen, friends, we need to, um, this has just revolutionized some of my axe stuff, my axe making business. This is a die grinder. It's a freaking die grinder air tool. This is weird for me, friends. I'm used to rocking old school hand tools. This is awesome. We're gonna, you flying now. We're gonna be moving now. Production, eh, Scotty? Is that right? Is that what's happening? Are you guys getting Buck and Billy Ray into the oil daily? Right there? Well, what I do, you can take, <clears throat> no, that just, some of them have a little screw. Scott. You just put oil through your. Through the air cut. Yeah, okay. when you're using it. Okay. Scott. Just so it doesn't rust on the inside. This is, this is, this has been a wicked freaking box opening. Buddy, thank you so much for these tools. This has helped the channel out immensely. Thank you. Hey, Vic? Yes. Die grinder. We've got a bunch of bits for you, so. Victor says he's got some bits. I'll have to get a chuck for it, and we'll be rocking and rolling. I might put my compressor outside, actually, and run the hose in. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Just set up that blue one I've... I've... On the, on, out here? Yeah. Hey, or, or out the back? Out there, wherever. And then just run the hose through yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Maybe the window? <laughs> Scott, think, thank you. I think we're capable of drilling a hole now because we got drill bits. Yeah, we do, don't we? Just run it right inside. The hose? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I would. I would run out. What about, you know, what about critters? Oh, seal them, seal them the hole. Make yeah. Proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Scott, we're moving on to another unboxing. Scotty, would you please give me an email? Could you, buddy? Thank you so much, pal. This is, that's huge. I, look at this. So these are for the tools for it. This is for that. Look at that. Right. And in here, you, you, need, you need to use both because you have to double wrench it. For the chuck? Yeah. For the tool? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. got it, got it. You gotta double wrench it. Yes, it up. got it. Yeah, and that, can we pop that out quick? Well, all, all you gotta do is pop this thing out. Oh! And then you screw your Oh, so you screw your... It, it's just uh, a plug to keep yeah, yeah, yeah. the crap out of it. I, I understand. And the oil inside. Okay. Here in transport. We're moving on. Scott. Thanks, buddy. I love it. You're a good man. Now, Jim, I love this guy. Jim, you've been here, what, six months? Jim, about that, do you think? Or longer, Jimmy? Maybe longer, eh? I don't know anymore. I used to know every freaking one when there was a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people. Ooh, it's blowing outside. Mm, gust. It's blowing. Gust after gust. Jim, you talked about this the other day. We had an email together and we had a little chat. Vic, what have you got on this week? Coming up this week. This week? Yeah. Not much. No? The weather's supposed to be... Like not this yeah. and rain and wind and rain. Yeah, I know. So might be a get the bunker ready week. Mm. So I've kind of just been 
open that and look at the weather yeah. report. Wake up in the morning and do yeah. it. That's what me and Vic usually do, friends. I don't, uh, it's just me. I, I, I don't book work. No, I don't either. Uh, not, not at this time of year either. I kind of taught Victor to, to do that. I, I remember in the beginning when we, we, I would just say, listen, Vic, call me in the morning. You know, hey, Vic, remember? We'd just be like, yep. let's wake up and see what Mother Nature's doing because yep. you can book work and then book work and book work. And then all of a sudden in our industry, you get hit. Well, now you're just rebooking everybody. Yeah. You're phoning yeah, everybody. You 15 uh, phone calls to make. And that's an hour. Everybody. Yep. That's an hour of your day or more. So or it's just, I don't book it. I'll say, hey, we're going to probably move at it this week. Let's see what Mother Nature does for us. And I start chipping away like that. But that's just me, friends. It's, uh, you know, and Victor just well, adapt, adapted that. He books work, but yeah, not, but not, I not way him ahead. Three weeks out and yeah. to contact them when, I'm, when we can make it, especially this time of year. You'll, out here on the West Coast, you can't. No. You can't book work. No, you can't. <clears throat> we got a week of rain and wind coming. This is a man called Jimmy Lichiello. I love it, Lichiello. Jim, you're a great guy. You're, you're a very, very positive commenter on the channel, buddy. You are. Yeah, I see your stuff. I love it. He has sent us something, friends. I have a, I have a, an inclination what it is. I sometimes when I do this, Vic, I uh, I kind of like uh, it's funny. I'll go, I'll stop. My whole <laughs> being stops, and I go like, people are giving the channel this stuff. It's crazy. I mean, axe heads. Yeah. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six axe heads. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it, it, this is huge for the channel because it keeps me doing this stuff. Yep. And people get axes all over the world. So this is Jim. Okay, now Jim, what's Jim done here? I don't know. Jim, what is this? Did you put a, Jim? Jim, a box in a box? Did you put an axe head in a box, Jimbo? You are a very particular man. I know this about Mr. Lechiello. <clears throat> Lots of this air bubble stuff around here, Victor. Mm -hmm. Jim. Danielson! Danielson! Okay. Jim. <laughs> what have we got? Bixler. How are you doing, Bixler? And how's Mama Bixler and Baby Bear? You got another kid on the way. Is he born yet or she born yet? Did you have that other kid yet? You did, didn't you? <laughs> Bixler. I hope your friends have been over to see Bixler. <clears throat> and Blaze. Blaze has got this flying contraption. I just saw his video. Have you seen Blaze's la latest video? No, I have not. <clears throat> Check it out. He's riding this crazy thing. Uh oh. Oh wow. Jimmy. Billy. Found these two heads and thought of you. Thank you, Jim. They are my gift to you and the channel from my family and I. Please enjoy. Uh, my family and I. Please enjoy. Soldier of kindness. Jim, buddy, thank you, man. The, this just never ceases to amaze me. My gift to you and the channel. Go barbaric. Yeah, go barbaric. Jim knows I like the barbaric stuff. Jim, you nail it. Let's take a look at these, shall we? Ah, Jimmy. What a guy. Oh, my <laughs> Do you know what this reminds me of? Wow. Yeah. See, Jim, this is an old head. Yeah, it is. It's a really old head. Do you know what this reminds me of? Look at this, friends. This is wicked. I'm going to rehandle this. I'm going to. That thing used to be double the size. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's a hand forged guaranteed. It's still got some life to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this will oh, split wood a, like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, that's. It's the, it's the old school wedge style, Vic. And it's torn <clears> out. Hey? 
It's been sharpened a few times. Too. Yes, it has. But you know what the neat thing about this design is, friends? It's the most simplest wedge design of all. This will split wood like you will not believe. I'm not joking yet. I've got one that Donald Snow gave me and my latest one that I built. Where did that one come from? I think it was that my newest ax that I built, you know, my split ax, it was a little bend in the handle. It's a freaking beauty. So many gifts come, friends. Oh, this is nice. This is like that St uh, St St Stoler guy, uh, J B J J B Stoler or Stoker, Stalker, remember? Do you know what? This thing's still good. It is. Jim, this is still good. It's gonna get a freaking handle, pal. You know it is. Friends, look at this. Look at the mushrooming on it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this thing up. Looks like it's got some weight to it. <clears throat> Not bad. Let's weigh it on my little scale here, Victor. You'd be very proud of me, friends. I got my scale already, look. <laughs> Let's look. Oh, I can tell you, wanna guess? Sure. Let's play the guessing game. Uh, okay, I know what I'm doing. You tell me what you're doing, Victor. We're gonna play the, the, the weight guessing game on the heads, friends. Victor. Just, just over. What do you think, Vic? <clears throat> three and three quarter. Victor's going three and three quarter. That's a really good guess, actually, Vic. That is, that's a good, that's a good guess. A very good guess. Wow. I have to agree. I'm going on the heavy side of three and three quarter. Heavy side of three and three quarter? Then I'll go on, on the light side of three and three quarter. Like in between three and a half and three and a quarter. Okay? Ooh, we were both way off. It's a four pound head. It's a four pound head. It's a four pound head, friends. I should have went with my gut instinct. Wow, that one took me by surprise. That's four and a quarter pound. Yeah, the scale is off a little bit. Not much. It, not by much. It's not bad. It's off by it just, one. Is it just my angle? It's your angle. Oh, yeah, there's two. Look. Yeah. Let's get it squared away. There it is, dead center. Yeah. Dead center. I should have said four pounds and yeah. I still would have been yeah. wrong. Yeah. This is a four. That probably used to be a four and a half pound axe. It's four and a quarter pounds, friends. Four and a quarter that head is. That is incredible. We were both wrong. We went three and a quarter, or three and three quarters we were talking. Hey? But it was more, Jim. Jim L. Not light. I was thinking of four pound too, but I know, since I just, it was so worn out, I yeah. was thinking. I'll bet you that's a four pound head right there. That's actually more, that's four and a half. It's the same. It's the same weight. It's the exact same weight as this thing. Yeah. Mind you, it's got the wood it's and some wedges in it. But. No, not much. Oh, that head's pretty smashed around actually, that one. These are the same weight. Exact same weight, friends. Look at these old heads, friends. These are these are perfect. These are the ones I like to work on. Perfect. That one I'm that, yeah. That's wicked. Yeah. That's very cool. Jim, thank you, buddy. There's one more here he sent, friends. There's a that's an old. Oh! Oh, it's a true tip. It's a dandy. See, that's a small head. Jim, that's great, buddy. Thanks so much. That, this brings a lot of joy to us. It really does. That's a nice little head. That's about a three pounder right there. True temper. It's about three pounds. I would reckon about three pounds. You wanna feel that, Victor? See what you think of that? I'm going for three. Straight up three pounds. Yeah. About that, Vic? Yeah. On the light side or heavy? Or it's heavy side. Yeah. 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 It's just over three. Yeah. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Yep. Yeah. Three pound head. Yeah. So that that's about three and a quarter, friends. Hey, yeah, pretty cool. You're right about that. Yeah, that's nice. Pete, but I, Peter, too. Peter, Jim, Scotty, who else? Oh, there's a birthday present there's here. There's another one too. It's from another Peter. Peter, Peter. oh, is this from? Is this Dutchy? Is this Dutchy? It is. He sent me some clogs. Dutch clogs. 
Peter. Before we leave, Jim, Jim Lechiello, Lechiello, is that right, Jim, Lechiello? Thanks for those heads, buddy, they're awesome, I love them. Let's make sure we got nothing else in the box, I don't wanna lose nothing, no nothings. All right, looking good, get rid of that stuff. Keep Jim's note so I can read that again, make sure we got everything squared away. Let's put our little tool over here. Let's have a look here, we've got this, Mr. This is from Peter Bolthus. Bol Bolthus. Peter Bolthus. Is that right? Bolthus? Probably butchered the heck out of it, didn't I? I'm thinking this is my man. It is. It's Dutchy. It's Dutchy. I know it is. Let's crack into this thing. Peter. Peter's a great guy. Peter has just come to the channel, I would think, fairly recently. Hey, eh, Pete? Oh, boy. Hey, Peter. If I'm not mistaken, I think I know what this man's done. Yes, he has. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, no. Yeah, Peter. Oh, look at it. Uh, oh, <laughs> Dutchy. <laughs> Peter. Made in Holland, right on there. Greets from Pete's. Greets from Peter. Look at friends. Oh. Was he a burn on him? He was asking my the. I'm gonna burn him. Peter, I'm gonna burn him. Can I burn him, Pete? I'm gonna put some vodka on those, dude. <laughs> Do you know what? I've never had a pair of these, and I've always said, thought they were the coolest things. They smell orange. No. Is it birch, Pete? Are they birch? He's gonna tell they me in this note. Why There's not? No way they're birch. Why? Too soft of wood. Birch? Yeah, yeah. No, it's Harvey. Well, not the birch I had back at home. No, this is hard. Bir birch is hardwood. That's a hardwood, yeah. But like alders classified as a hardwood. Yes. Well, that's true. Victor? Would you mind, please? I don't mind. No, you can't see it, can you? I cannot see it, I can do this. Oh, hang on. Oh, I happen to have my, my clogs on. You gotta, you gotta unshackle them. I gotta unshackle them. Here they are here. There we go. Nice little piece of uh, a wire, friends. They're, they're kept together by a chunk of wire. My wife is gonna love these, Peter. Dutchy old boy, thanks, buddy. On that hardwood floor, ba funk, ba funk, ba funk. Yep, in the morning. <laughs> we go. I think this is the most coolest thing in the world. Wooden shoes. I am just, I'm in love. Look at me. Look at that. Dutch, you have just made me so happy. I'm not joking you. I freaking love these things. I've always wanted a set. I've always wondered what they'd feel like on your feet. I've always thought that's been an amazing thing how people make freaking shoes out of wood and put them on their feet and wear them around. I might wear these in here. I might work in these, Peter. You just, you just made me a freaking, a Dutch craftsman. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Look what's happening, friends. It's happening. He's coming. He's coming. Sven is. Uh, Sven has shown up now. <laughs> <laughs>
Victor, he's, uh, he thinks he's funny. He's having a hard time, friends. <laughs> uh, Dachi, uh, I've uh, missed you. Where have you been? I've been waiting for these shoes. You told me you were gonna bring these shoes to me a long time ago. They have taken a long time. Billy was tapping around there like some fool from the 50s. These are mine. You sent these for me, did you not? Or maybe for Helga. Helga? Maybe, yes. Yeah. Helga? When she walks on your back. Yes. Friends? Sven is very happy with the gift. I will show you. Sven will show you these feet. On the feet. Look at friends. Jeez, Sven's got some flexibility to him. Not too bad, you see? Even though my back has been uh, compromised sometimes, eh, I can still get my legs up on there to show you my wooden shoes from the Dutch man. Friends, look at. I'm going to make them vodka. I am. I'm going to put the vodka on the shoes. Uh, Dachi, if you think that is okay, I will do that. If not, I will not. I want to honor your shoes and your craftsmanship and your country. Thank you so much, Dachi. Or not, friends. I want to thank everybody who given the gifts to Billy's community and to the channel. We started today with, who did we start with today, Victor? The accents uh, from Peter. Peter. Peter, thank you. Peter one. Peter one, that's right, Peter one. <laughs> Jim Licciello, not bad. And Peter too. And Peter number two, with the wooden shoes. Peter, you are a good man, I like this. This is very nice, they're comfortable as hell. I, can, I cannot believe it, as a matter of fact. Peter, thank all the box openers, friends, community, Buccaneers. <laughs> Let's thank everybody that helped the community out today with these axe heads and these gifts. Scott, we almost forgot about Scott. I was counting boxes. One, two, three. Scott, you think no, we're going to forget we that? Forget Scott, did we? No, I think, well, we did no, maybe on the first one. Peter one, Scott, and then Peter, Peter one. Two. Peter one. I feel like we're forgetting somebody now. We're forgetting somebody. No, we are. There's been there's been a ton, friends. Who's it been today? Let's get this straight. Right, because we already kiboshed those boxes out of here. That's right. Right. So we got Peter. The landfill rat, I got your card. Thank you for the birthday present. Heath was thanking us for having him here. Jim. Jim Lechiello. Lechiello. This one was from Scott. Scott, we can't forget Scott. Scott gave us the crazy tools. Oh, right in that bag of asbestos. That's who we're forgetting. And who was that? Where is that bag? It's right there. Kevin. Kevin. No. Yes. Kevin. Oh, Kevin McPhee. Yes. Kevin. Yes. That's who we were forgetting. Yeah, Kevin gave us an axe head. He sent us that yes. double bit axe yeah. head. Where is it? It's right here, the plum. Yeah. The plum, Kevin. We can't forget about Kevin. That's right. There's, there's been, this has been a freaking crazy day. It's gonna be an hour of box openings. It is an hour of box openings. <laughs> it's nuts, friends. Thank you all so much. What a blast. What a freaking blast. Over and out, friends. Be kind to one another out there. Let's keep the section rolling like it is. Over the need. Bye, Cynthia. <laughs>